If you've been living under a moon rock, then you might not know that since 2006, our solar system has changed from nine to eight planets. This is due to Pluto not being considered a planet, but instead, a dwarf planet. Now, while Pluto is only 1,400 miles wide, which is half the size of the U.S., a dwarf planet is not defined by a planet's size. Instead, a dwarf planet is defined by the International Astronomical Union, the IAU, as a celestial body in direct orbit of the sun that is large enough to be controlled by gravitational forces, but has not cleared its neighboring region of other objects. So what does not clearing its neighbor, neighboring region of other objects means? This refers to the planet not having other bodies of comparable size in its vicinity in space. So to become a planet and not a dwarf planet, three listed criteria is seen here are it has to orbit the sun is one, two, it has sufficient mass to be a nearly round shape, and three, it has other bodies of comparable size in its vicinity in space. Now, from a dwarf planet to a prodigious planetary facts. When comparing Earth to the other seven planets in our solar system, did you know that it takes approximately eight minutes for the sun's light to reach us compared to four hours for the sun's warmth to reach Neptune? Also, five out of eight planets receive four seasons, with the exceptions being Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. This is because they do not have a tilted axis as we do, and instead are mainly vertical when facing the sun in their elliptical orbits. Lastly, while it takes 360 65 days to orbit the sun on Earth. It takes only 88 days on Mercury, but 29 years on Saturn. From the DC News Now studio, I'm meteorologist Scott Sumner.